This is Prince Arrington, QA Director on Gears of War 4. In this video, we'll take you through each of the three maps in the Gears of War beta, Harbor, Dam, and Foundation. Harbor is a dark and rainy map set during a stormy night on Sarah. This map heavily rewards crossing at range to secure positions and offers multiple ways to enter lanes from unexpected angles. On the front of the docks is the drop shot spawn, where ranged weapons have a major influence in map control. Using lancers and hammerbursts in this area can really punish players rushing for the weapon. The middle of the map is divided into a low and a high side. The low side is a great flanking route for the front of the docks, and the frags located here can help you influence fights on either side of the map. The torque bow and long shot spawn at the rear of the boat. The pillars here provide perfect cover for Nasher fights, and the front of the boat offers an effective flank to surprise the enemy team. If you manage to acquire one of these power weapons at the back of the boat, don't be afraid to move with them. The front of the boat is especially a great place to shine with both of these weapons. But be ready to turn and fight close quarters when flanked from behind. Dam is aptly named for the huge dam that dominates the horizon. The combat in this map is split into two distinct areas that both have equal importance, the crane and the platform. The platform is a key part of this map. Holding this area provides you with access to the boom shot and drop shot spawns, and an elevated position that offers good defensive capabilities. While the platform has an enticing quick side entrance to vault up, it's also risky. Pick your moment to surprise opponents and use vault, a new move to Gears 4 that lets you quickly traverse covered to maintain momentum on the platform. If you want to control at range, the open railing area of the platform offers a great option to keep opponents off of the power weapon and to support fights from a distance. To break a strong defense on the platform, the frags that spawn in the circular cover at the bottom of the ramp can force enemies out of cover and open opportunities for you. Opposite the platform area is the crane, where long shot and torque bow spawn. While the pillars encourage Nasher battles, these key pieces of longer cover offer an effective way to catch opponents out with ranged weapons. If you grab the long shot or torque bow, you have great sight lines onto the other half of the map. Utilize these angles as much as possible to help your team control the entire battlefield, spotting enemies with the great sight lines and using ranged weapons to pressure your opponents into cover whenever they move around the map. Foundation is set in the construction area of a new cog settlement, where the verticality can have a big impact on the outcome of the match. The middle is one of the most important areas of the map. Controlling this area not only provides two flanks to both of the power weapon areas, but also gives you a juicy reward of frag grenades. The middle also provides options for both ranged and Nasher users. Nasher users should stick to the pillars to outmaneuver opponents, while the raised areas provide a strong position to rain down Lancer fire on any players caught in the open. The torque bow spawns near the statue on the high side, and the cover here gives you a multitude of options. If you need to break a deadlock, a flank from middle or up the stairs or along the balcony lane can be an effective option. The balcony itself is a great place to use a power weapon or ranged weapon to take out any opponents in the middle or boom shot area. On the low side, the boom shot and drop shot spawn in the middle of this enclosed area. Fights here are fierce, so use smoke grenades to cover your push to the control panels to pressure opponents. Rushes from the middle are often visible at the last minute, so always be aware of your teammate's location in case the middle flank isn't covered. And that's it for our beta map overview. Now it's down to you. Be sure to check out the rest of our guides if you're looking for more Gears of War 4 beta tips and tricks. Good luck out there.